Finger fidgeting, also known as finger intertwining, is a common body language gesture that can reveal a lot about a person's emotions and thoughts. It's a subtle yet powerful way that people communicate their feelings without using words. One of the most obvious signs of finger fidgeting is when someone interlaces their fingers tightly and their knuckles turn white. This can be a sign of frustration, disappointment, or a desire to hide negative emotions. For example, if someone is speaking about a topic they are not particularly enthusiastic about, they may exhibit finger fidgeting as a way to show their lack of agreement or interest. There are several variations of finger fidgeting that can convey different meanings. For instance, crossed fingers held at face level can indicate discomfort or dislike, while hands placed on a table or on the knees in a seated position can show a desire to distance oneself from a situation. Fingers laced together behind the back can indicate a desire to appear confident and in control, but it can also be a sign of insecurity or discomfort. It's important to pay attention to finger fidgeting as it can provide valuable insight into someone's true feelings. However, it's also important to consider other body language cues in the overall context of the situation before making any assumptions. For example, if someone is speaking in a monotone voice and exhibiting finger fidgeting, it may be a sign that they are not particularly interested in the topic. On the other hand, if they are speaking with enthusiasm and using animated hand gestures, finger fidgeting may not be as significant. Finger fidgeting is just one aspect of body language, but it can be a helpful tool for understanding how someone is feeling. By paying attention to finger fidgeting and other body language cues, you can improve your communication skills and better understand the perspectives of those around you. It's also important to consider the cultural context when interpreting finger fidgeting. In some cultures, finger fidgeting may be more prevalent and considered a normal part of communication, while in others it may be seen as a sign of disrespect or dishonesty. It's important to be aware of these cultural differences and not jump to conclusions based on your own cultural biases. In addition to being a tool for understanding others, Finger fidgeting can also be used to communicate your own feelings and thoughts. For example, if you are feeling anxious or uncomfortable in a situation, you may exhibit finger fidgeting as a way to cope with your emotions. By becoming aware of your own body language and how it may be perceived by others, you can better control your own communication and better understand how others may be interpreting your gestures. Overall, Finger fidgeting is a subtle but powerful form of communication that can reveal a lot about a person's thoughts and emotions. By paying attention to finger fidgeting and other body language cues, you can improve your communication skills and better understand the perspectives of those around you.